the roller coaster of the animal kingdom. That's one phrase Dr. David Penning has used to describe snakes, an animal that, even in 2018, researchers like him are still working to understand. Penning, who joined the Missouri Southern State University faculty in 2016, has focused his research on furthering our understanding of snakes, and he's inspiring a new generation of researchers along the way. In fact, there's a waiting list of students interested in working with him in the new reptile physiology lab. I'm Kate Kelly, and I had the chance to spend some time with Penning for the first in our new series of researcher profiles. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, yeah, my parents let me do uh, a lot of stuff outside, so I'd go outside, uh, flip over rocks, look for random little things, uh, explored and would find snails. Some know him as Dr. Penning, their Bio 101 professor. Others as an expert in documentaries exploring bite force and giant boa constrictors from ages past. But if you ask David Penning who he is, he'll probably tell you he's just a snake guy. The very first time that I ever uh, definitively remember a snake was uh, when I was little and somebody handed me a uh, pretty big blue racer. I think it had been recently hit by a lawnmower, so I just like got a chance to hold it. At the time, I wasn't uh, particularly scared of snakes or anything. An assistant professor of biology and environmental health at Missouri Southern, Penning's research background has focused on animal movement, snakes in particular. While teaching runs in the family, he never pictured himself in front of a classroom. So my mom was a high school music teacher and then a special ed teacher. My dad was a history teacher and then a middle school principal. My sister's a second grade teacher. And I was like, I am not going to be a teacher. I am not about that. Nothing about this is enjoyable. I do not want to teach. And then I got to labs when I was an undergrad and I could actually teach a few labs. And I was like, oh no, I enjoy this a lot actually. Like I in fact really like it. It was while working on his doctorate in environmental and evolutionary biology that he realized teaching was in his blood as well. What drew me to Missouri Southern was, was the student interest and, and the, the focus on faculty having a tangible, relatable conversation with their students, not just student A comes in, next semester student B comes in, next semester student C comes in. Um, seeing students that you know and, and, and helping them to get where they want to be is something I was really interested in because that's how I got to where I am. After joining the Missouri Southern faculty in 2016, Penning established a reptile physiology lab on campus, which houses more than 100 snakes from 10 different species. His research into strike speeds and how snakes consume other snakes have made him a go-to expert. He has been featured on Secrets of the Dead, Graveyard of Giant Beasts on PBS, and Debunking the Viper on the Discovery Channel. And so it really started with, hey, can we measure things about really big snakes? And I was like, yeah, we can do that. Also, there's this, this, and this. And it ended with, well, I actually understood most of what we're doing or most of what you're talking about. Would you have any interest in being a part of the show and, and, and that kind of thing? And so um, that's how it really started was just uh, several phone conversations about the feasibility of, of what this is. Through his campus lab, Penning is helping to create the next generation of researchers who will further our understanding of the scaly species. I never would have thought that when I began college that when I graduated I would uh, be publishing a scientific uh, journal article. I would have never thought that I would have done such a thing, but um, it's really exciting that I have the potential to publish an article with Dr. Penning. It's really exciting. I mean, I spent all my four years here in college looking up journal articles and using them for other research, writing research papers, and it's really exciting that I'm going to be able to contribute to some literature, especially in the field of, of biology, pretty soon. But for Penning, life is more than just snakes. He's an avid movie buff. Just don't get him started on Hollywood's depiction of his research specialty. The best example I have is, uh, was it Lone Survivor, the Mark Wahlberg movie, uh, the military movie? He falls down a cliff and he lands on a snake. Well, he's in Afghanistan. Why is there a North American rattlesnake in Afghanistan? Like, it, it, like, so I see this stuff differently than other people where I'm like, well, that, that's a ball python that like seven-year-olds can handle. That's not a the world's deadliest whatever, you know. A newlywed, Penning says he's lucky to have found a partner who shares some of his interests and happily supports others. While some women might shrink away at the thought of a spare bedroom dedicated to some questionable roommates, Missy did not. I went to Africa for a bit, she took care of all the snakes, uh, <laughs> which was <laughs> definitely interesting, but at, at that point I was like, all right, she's probably all in. Uh, if she'll take care of 40, 50 snakes for me while, uh, while I'm gone, she probably, probably is around for a while. While his lab is now up and running, classes are going well, and interest continues in the research he has conducted, Penning says he's keeping an eye on the future. Uh, I think at this point it's going to be 
broadening the research beyond just Missouri Southern, bringing in other students from other universities to do research and collaborate with our students. Making a, a larger impact uh, in my area of science is something that I'd really like to do. I really think I found my groove here. I really think I found kind of my academic family. Um, so more of the same, a lot more students, a lot more research. Essentially who I am as a person is just a, a biologist who likes understanding the world.